We'll start with the feet hip width apart and just allow yourself to sway from side to side, shifting that weight from foot to foot, feeling your toes, your heels, the weight shifting to the inside and outside of your feet. And then allow a gentle wave come over the hands and the shoulders. Allow the spine to get involved in the side to side movement as you move your head and neck with it as if you were moving through water so that your body is being supported, yet released and soft, making sure that we're not just throwing ourselves into it. We have that gentle support as if water was all around us. And we'll start to take this into a circular movement. Allow the heart to soften Allow the knees to bend softly. And again, through water, this hula hoop kind of motion. So moving through, notice the head and neck. So we don't wanna take it in too deep of a circle, but just as if we were drawing a circle with the top of the head. And then in the other direction, Notice if one side feels a little bit easier or more challenging than the other side. Notice by doing it the second time around, have you already made it a habit or fell into habitual movement or are you still being mindful and aware and in the present moment? So take it slow, find that breath. And then a little more playful, let's take it into a figure eight, feeling that core start to warm up with it. It's almost kind of like we're skating a little bit. We want to notice if we start to tense up, see if we can still keep that fluid movement more like a dance. As we dance with this, letting go, notice where you're holding tension. Take another deep breath. And from here, bring those feet firmly underneath of you. Soft bend of the knees and then inhale, reach up, lifting through the heart, reaching towards the ceiling and start to bow yourself forward. These hands can stay up or they can start to come down. As we keep this bowing, we wanna make sure that we're not collapsing into the neck. Looking down at the floor, you can soften the knees as much as you need to. And you can even take the hands and rub them down the backs of the calves. Release the head, the neck, and allow yourself to hang for a moment. Breathing, releasing. Water falling over yourself. And wherever you are, you can take your hands out or take your feet out. We'll walk ourselves back into this downward facing dog. Pedaling the heels, releasing the neck and head. And then walking the hands towards the feet. We'll start to turn the toes out just slightly, coming back into a forward fold. And we're just allowing ourselves to be a little bit wider than normal. Sway, release, shake out the elbows. You could even bring one hand to each elbow if needed. If desired, allow yourself to listen to the body, breathe into the body. And then we'll start to roll ourselves up, stack the spine, bend the knees as much as you need. Hands draw all the way up and again, we're lifting, opening through the heart. Hands come to prayer and prayer comes to heart. Walking yourself up to the front of your mat, heel to it, allow yourself to be mindful. Notice that shift of the weight. We're taking it a little bit slower than we normally would. Feet under the hips and we'll move in to our sun salutation. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, pushing into the shins or thighs 
as we reach out, project out through the top of the head. And then as we exhale, we'll shift that right foot back. Pull, roll up through the spine, inhale. And as we lift up, we'll take the hands behind the head this time. Pushing or maybe even interlacing. We push the head into the hands and the hands into the head. Open up through the elbows, push open the heart and then push your feet into opposite directions. Tighten up through the core so that we're not just dumping into that low back. And then as we open up here, we're gonna open up the hands Allow the hands to come behind the back, interlacing the fingers. Drop that back heel. Keep the front knee bent for warrior one and start to fold yourself over, lifting up through the hands. Deep breath. Let the hands come down. And then turning that back toe as we come down onto that back knee, release the back foot, roll yourself back up. Hands come up. Take a deep breath. As we inhale, we'll lift to lengthen the spine. As we exhale, we'll have the opposite hand. So right hand coming onto the inside of that left foot. And we'll allow ourselves to get a little twist. Take this top hand to the hip. And we're going to remove that front foot, taking it out and back. So we're in a one-legged plank. Feel free to readjust as much as needed. The foot will stay down and we're just going to reach up and over. Push the hips forward. Take a deep breath as we take this big stretch in opposite directions. And then exhale, hand comes down. Pull through that core. Place that hand down and then roll over to the other side. So a little swivel on that knee. Rolling up and out and then again stretch through the fingers and toes. Push the hips forward. As we push the hips forward, we don't want to push too much into one portion of the spine. Just this big opening and lengthening. Hands come down. And then we come into our tabletop. Take a cat cow. So inhale. And exhale. Classic. Cat cow, inhale, open. Exhale. And then we'll walk the hands forward. Allow the chest to reach forward so that the hips feel stretched. Bend the elbows, heart comes down first. Bend the hips. Lifting into cobra, we pull the shoulders back, pull the elbows towards the toes, and just a soft back bend. Exhale, release it back down. Take the arms wide and onto the fingertips. And we'll look under our left underarm, left arm. Inhale, back to center. Take another exhale to the other side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands come in as we lower down. Push through the knees, up and back into child's pose. Knees come wide. Big toes come together. Take a moment, let your forehead rest to your mat. Walk your hands in, add that support. As you bring your hands out, we'll tuck the toes through that exhale, pull the belly button in, pulling tight through that low abdomen and settle into your downward facing dog. Paddle it out, breathe through it. Bring the feet together, lifting through that right leg first, inhale, exhale, lower. We'll do the same on the left side, reach up through that heel, squeeze the glute, bring the knee through, we're gonna plant that left foot so bring it wherever you need. You can always readjust. And we're on that back right toe. Roll, squeeze, guide yourself up. Fingertips reaching towards the ceiling. Hands come behind the head. Interlace the fingers. Press the hands into the head and the head into the hands. 
open up through the elbows, push up through the chest, release the hands, interlace the fingers, open up the heart. You can start to drop that back heel, fold yourself forward. Push through the hands, squeeze the palms together. Take a deep breath. And then release the hands down. Step the back foot forward. Take it as wide as you need and fold. Releasing. Let yourself fall a little heavier. Release through the top of the head. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and fold. Roll yourself up. Inhale, fingers reach towards ceiling. Hands to prayer, prayer to heart. From here, let's shift the weight just by lifting up through one heel. Feel that hip gather and squeeze and then release it down. We'll do the same on the other. Heel up, gather, squeeze the hip and release. You might feel it right into the top of the hips, maybe even that low back region. Big squeeze, release. Big squeeze, release. Drawing the hip up. Let's do that one more time on each side. Up and squeeze. Pull the belly button in as well. Release. Let's do that one more time. And release. Inhale, reach up. Sinking down, hands come into prayers. Pushing the heart forward, squeezing behind the heart. Bend over your strong legs. Inhale, flat back. Left leg shifts back onto that toe. Roll yourself, gather upward, lift the hands. Inhale. Interlacing on this side, we bring the hands behind the head. Push the head into the hands, hand into the head. Push your feet in opposite directions. Tighten up through the core, lift the heart. Keep that front knee bent. Push out through the elbows, squeeze the shoulders into the spine. Deep breath. Then inhale, release the hands, open them up. We start to drop that back heel as the hands come behind. Interlace the fingers, reach out through the top of the head and fold. Bend that front knee, deep breaths. Release the hands. Hands come down. Release that back foot. Release the back knee. Roll yourself up. Squeezing through the core, the fingers reach up. As we lift up, we're reaching, we're extending the spine so that knee's pushing into the floor as well. This allows us to take this rotation as we exhale to bow. We take that top hand towards the hip and then we'll remove that front foot. Take it in the back and adjust as we pivot into that front knee. The hand can move as well. Reach up and over. Big side plank supported by one knee. Extend in all directions and open up the hips. Deep breath. Exhale, release that hand down. And we're switching over to the other side. So replace that knee, pivot up and over. Big reach, stretching through those ribs and also extending through that leg as well. So arm and leg are both extending opposite directions. Hands come down. And then we'll get a little creative here. We'll take the hips side to side. We'll take it in a big circle. Stretching through the wrist as well. So you might feel it there too. And then in the other direction. And then just choose, maybe you'd like to take it to one side or the other, maybe you'd like to move front and back. Notice where you need to hang out, get a little creative in your hips. Self soothe and breathe into it as well. Inhale, gather yourself up, take the knees wide, big toes together, sink back into a child's pose. 
Let the forehead rest, deep breaths. Feel your breath in the lungs, in the ribs. Inhale, gathering up as you draw the hands in. Tucking the toes, lift the hips. Pushing back and settling into a downward facing dog. Maybe you lift both heels and then push them down, or one and then the other. Shifting the weight or maybe even getting a little twist. We'll bring the feet together and we'll lift the left heel first. Inhale straight up, big squeeze of that glute. And then lower, exhale. Right foot, inhale. And we're shifting forward, so shift into the hands, let the heart come forward, and we're gonna place that foot in. We're rolling up, push into that knee. Roll, 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 stack. Let the hands lift. Hands come behind the heart, or behind the head, lifting the heart. Bend into that front knee, push the feet in opposite directions. Push out through the elbow, squeezing the shoulder blades together at the same time. It's a big open, as if your elbows were wings. Deep breath. We're transitioning, so we open up, drop that back heel, interlace the fingers, open the heart again. And let yourself fold over. Pull the hands together as much as possible. And shift the chest forward, so we're lengthening through the torso, lengthening through the neck. Deep breath. And then you'll release the hands, come down, and we'll step that back foot forward. Wide legs. You can even sway side to side. Releasing the head and neck, the elbows. Deep breath. Let it go. And then pull through that belly button, low core, up and in as we roll through the spine, stacking. Shoulders come back, hands come up, inhale. Hands to prayer, prayer to heart. Exhale. 